Cod Hunt Zero here. It's been a while. They've been asking why I've not been on. Well, as I said in a video earlier, basically my computer bust. So I haven't been able to edit any videos in, and I, because I couldn't edit them, I thought, well, not much point on me really taking any stupidly. I should have been videoing um, been at a couple of camps, uh, but it's done. It's by the back. Anyway, I've had to get me my laptop fixed. Um, it's not brilliant. But it does the job eventually. Um, I have to try and see if I can get a new one. Myself, well, I've been working, as you, as you know, I work for the National Trust, uh, voluntary. Um, hopefully, you know, something might come of that one day, because I do enjoy it and I do love it. It's, well, like just being out for the day really but you know yeah it is hard work at times very hard work at times however there's a lot of reward and a lot of conservation habitat conservation and you know um it's good it's good um yeah so here i am again in the woods i'm not camping tonight but i am tomorrow I'm out with uh, Mick, the 12th Sagittarian. Um, tomorrow, going to have a, a wild camp in a in a very ancient wood, actually. Um, I mean, the wood I'm in now is an ancient wood, but the one that we're going to tomorrow has a little bit more history behind it and a little bit more uniqueness, I think. I mean, my, again, this has got a lot of history. A lot of history this wood I'm in now. Um, coal mining history um such like. So you know, I think all woods tell tales and we can you know if you dig in you and you do a little bit of research you can find out quite a lot of things. I'm lucky that this is a national trust wood and I know quite a bit about it so it's um well, that's for another video. That's for another video. Um, got a couple in the pipeline. Um, a couple of different ones. I'm going to try uh, just something a bit different. Um, telling a story, basically. Um, and it's not just a story. It's a, it's, it's a bit of history of my area and where I work. Um, so I'll have to get my nose in some books and make sure I get my facts right because I'm sure somebody on YouTube will uh, put me right, which I don't mind being put right. If I get something wrong, please, please, you know, just say so. Um, you know, I think I think knowledge is power and you gain more knowledge from other people quite a lot of the time. You know, the, the guys I work with at the Trust are vastly knowledgeable about different things. I'd like to think I'll bring something else to the table in the fact I know quite a little bit a lot about sort of fish and sea life and things like that so you know that's uh, that's my expertise if you like so I'll bring us along with us now get set up and sit and have a chat and see what happens <laughs>
Cool. Good lad. What a lovely place. I think the weather might change soon, but a lovely place to walk the dog. As you can see, he's in his element. Sit, sit, Bruce. Good boy, get on. Man's best friend, never a true word. Unconditional love. And a lot of fun. This is the third Springer I've had. Um, I did used to work them. Um, as you can, you can tell Bruce is a working dog, he still works now, um, however I don't work them anymore. Russell with my conscience, quite a few times went out on uh, shoots and the only time I shoot really now, I don't go, I've never gone on driven shoots, I don't, don't agree with it, it was only ever rough shooting and I hit what I shot, so you know, not everybody's cut a teen, I understand that. Um, but I was brought up in, in the shooting family. Um, again, rough shooting, not not driven shooting, which is from a slaughter. Um, we only ever shot what we needed and what we had, basically. Um, we went out, we sort of, my dad and I, we decided, you know... <laughs>